Greetings, today is Sunday, June 30, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be discussing the dangerous and powerful hurricane barrel, which is approaching the Lesser Antilles. Weather conditions are expected to begin deteriorating tonight, with the center passing over the islands of Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Grenada, and Tobago during the early morning and morning hours of Monday. In the past 24 hours, we have witnessed a historic event where Tropical Storm Barrel rapidly strengthened into a powerful Category 4 hurricane. Two Hurricane Hunter aircraft investigated the area and found that it has maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, 210 kilometers per hour. This sets several records, being the first Category 4 hurricane and the most intense to form in the month of June since records began. Additionally, it will be crossing islands that have never recorded sustained Category 4 winds. It will be a very difficult night, especially for St. Lucia. Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, and Tobago. If you are currently on these islands, you should be in a safe place as weather conditions will deteriorate rapidly. If we look at the infrared satellite animation, we can see the impressive structure of the powerful hurricane barrel. Although its intensity has remained constant this afternoon, the only chance the Lesser Antilles have of receiving a lesser impact is if an eyewall replacement occurs at any moment. However, prepare for a Category 4 hurricane. Here you can see the hurricane watches and warnings. A hurricane warning is in effect for St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Tobago, and Barbados. Additionally, a tropical storm warning has been issued for Martinique and a tropical storm watch for Dominica and Trinidad. Importantly, the Hurricane Hunter aircraft found that the extent of tropical storm winds is larger than previously estimated. Although the hurricane winds remain close to the center of circulation and will affect the island where the center of circulation passes directly. Also, note that a tropical storm watch has been issued for the southwestern Dominican Republic and southern Haiti. I will provide specific details about the expected effects across the Lesser Antilles Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, Jamaica, Belize, and the Yucatan Peninsula later on. There is a strong consensus among trajectory models that it will pass south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, leaving tropical storm winds over the Caribbean Sea. By Wednesday afternoon, it should pass very close to or over Jamaica, and then continue west-northwest until reaching the Yucatan Peninsula on Friday morning or afternoon. In the long term, there is a trend in the models showing it could turn northwest upon reaching the Gulf of Mexico, potentially putting Texas and Tamaulipas at risk. Additionally, there is strong consensus in the intensity models, projecting that it has already reached its maximum intensity. However, it is important to mention that some fluctuations in intensity, whether strengthening or weakening, are possible in the coming days, as it undergoes various eye-wall replacement phases. Unfortunately, it is projected to cross the Lesser Antilles as a powerful Category 4 hurricane, and continue as a Category 3 or Category 4 at least until Wednesday. When it begins approaching Jamaica, from Tuesday night, should start weakening and is expected to pass over Jamaica as a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane, and eventually over the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 1 hurricane. Here is the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Notice the trajectory south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, projecting it will remain a major hurricane at least until Wednesday morning, passing over Jamaica on Wednesday afternoon as a Category 2 hurricane, and then reaching the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 1 hurricane on Friday morning. Let's look at the projections from the two best models. Here we have Hurricane Barrel arriving in the next few hours to the south of the Lesser Antilles, then maintaining that trajectory south of Puerto Rico, but close enough to cause some showers and extremely dangerous surf along the southeast and south coasts of the island. This surf will affect the region between Tuesday and Wednesday, then passing south of the Dominican Republic, close enough to warrant the tropical storm watch. It will pass at its closest point on Tuesday night, and then between Wednesday night and Thursday morning, it will pass over Jamaica. Additionally, notice the next disturbance, Invest 96, as a tropical storm arriving in the Lesser Antilles on Wednesday night or early Thursday morning. In the medium term, the GFS model projects it will reach the Yucatan Peninsula on Friday morning. In the long term, the GFS model takes Hurricane Barrel to the southern coast of Texas or northern Tamaulipas during the weekend. We also have the European model projection with a very similar scenario, passing south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, over Jamaica on Wednesday, and eventually moving toward the Yucatan Peninsula and the state of Quintana Roo, in this case with a slightly more southern trajectory compared to the GFS model. It is important for residents of Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula to stay alert to forecast changes. In the long term, the European model takes the circulation over Tamaulipas during the weekend. So, we have good consensus today between the two best global models and the projections of specialized trajectory and intensity models. 
Now, let's talk about the direct effects expected across the Caribbean. Let's be very specific in terms of expected wind gusts and maximum rainfall accumulations. But before that, I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any videos during this special coverage. Go to the bottom of the video and click the red subscribe button. Then click the bell to get notifications when I record new videos. Let's start by talking about the direct effects expected across St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Barbados, and Tobago, where weather conditions will deteriorate rapidly over the next few hours. Remember that the strongest part of the hurricane is the northern and northeastern quadrant, and these catastrophic winds seem to be just south of Barbados, but will directly affect St. Vincent and the Grenadines with wind gusts over 200 km per hour. For areas like Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, and Grenada, wind gusts between 120 and 180 km per hour are anticipated. Remember that any variation to the north or south could put St. Lucia, Barbados, Tobago, and Grenada at greater risk, so it is best to anticipate wind gusts over 200 km per hour. Further north, note that some tropical storm force winds can affect Dominica, Martinique, and Guadeloupe which is why some tropical storm warnings and watches have been issued. As the center of circulation passes south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic on Tuesday, tropical storm force winds are projected to remain over the Caribbean Sea. But remember that as the circulation passes south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, strong surf and storm surge can affect the eastern and southern coasts of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. So, beachgoers should avoid beaches from Tuesday to Thursday, and small boat operators should not leave the ports. Let's look at the estimated accumulated rainfall expected across the eastern Caribbean. The heaviest rainfall should fall exactly where the center of circulation passes, projected to be over parts of St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Grenada, with some rainfall accumulations between 100 and 150 mm. Between Guadeloupe and St. Lucia, some accumulations between 30 and 40 mm, for eastern Puerto Rico between 2 and 4 inches, and for eastern Dominican Republic between 30 and 75 mm. Now let's see what will happen between Wednesday and Thursday for the region of Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica. The GFS model projects some tropical storm force winds affecting southwestern Haiti in Category 2, or Category 3 hurricane force winds affecting Jamaica on Wednesday. Additionally, some tropical storm force gusts could affect parts of southeastern Cuba. But for now, nothing significant in terms of rainfall for this area. Torrential rains are expected between Haiti and Jamaica, with accumulations between 250 and 400 mm between Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, so they should also be prepared for significant flooding. Then, between Thursday and Friday, the GFS model projects the center of circulation will reach Quintana Roo on Friday morning, with some tropical storm force gusts possibly affecting Pinar del Rio and the Cayman Islands, with gusts between 60 and 70 km per hour, and for Yucatan and Quintana Roo, some gusts between 70 and 90 km per hour. Remember there is still some uncertainty about whether it will land over Quintana Roo or move further south over Belize, so it is important for everyone to stay alert to trajectory changes. For example, the European model has a more southern trajectory over northern Belize, potentially bringing stronger winds over Quintana Roo, Campeche, and Yucatan. This cyclone could reach this area next Friday. And in terms of rainfall, some accumulations between 100 and 125 mm are anticipated, which could cause flooding due to the already saturated soils from recent rainfall events. And remember, in the long term, residents of Tamaulipas, Veracruz and Texas should stay alert to Hurricane Barrel's future, as it could move into this area and potentially reorganize over the Gulf of Mexico waters. However, this is very long term, and here at Hurricane Info, we will continue to keep you informed. Well, that's all for this video. I hope our followers in the Lesser Antilles are prepared to face this potentially catastrophic hurricane. Tomorrow morning, I will record another update to discuss what has happened with Hurricane Barrel. Before I go, I want to invite you to support my project by becoming sponsors. If you are interested, go to the bottom of the video, click the blue join button, and see the different sponsorship plans, where with a small monthly contribution you can receive some additional benefits. Well, now I say goodbye. The next video will be about the newly formed Tropical Depression 3 in the Bay of Campeche, heading towards Veracruz tonight. Goodbye.